that part wasn't supposed to happen. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Where are they now? On today's episode, we're looking at the Crystal Wash 2.0. You take these two balls and put them in your laundry machine. And then you don't need to use laundry detergent. If you're unfamiliar with Crystal Wash or any laundry balls in general, they're essentially these plastic balls that act as a housing for little ceramic beads inside. Using the power of bioceramics from the earth that have powerful antibacterial and antioxidant properties. Some claims about the beads are as silly as they produce far infrared rays. Physical quality that puts negative ions and infrared into the water. Functional ceramics to activate water. Yeah, I'm probably preaching to the choir here. You guys know all about this nerdy shit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna watch my video and see what critiques I had of Crystal Wash 2.0. And we're really gonna try hard to watch more than 30 seconds of the video because I know it's gonna be really fucking painful for me to watch. You guys may notice there's something different about me. I lost my arms. I masturbated so much that my arms fell off. They say you have 15 seconds to get a YouTube user's attention. Looks like my strategy hasn't changed since the good old days. I'm not a scientist, I don't claim to be a scientist, I'm just an average dude. We know you're not a scientist, pal. Let's move on. And if you do a little Wikipedia searching, you'll find out that the laundry ball has been around since 2008. A few of the commenters took issue with my usage of Wikipedia, even though it was just me being transparent. Wikipedia is not a scholarly source! <laughs> Wikipedia bad! No use Wikipedia! Because everything you say in life is a report. People are gonna keep receipts. We can give users alerts, so they know when it's time to recharge them in the sun. Oh great, another product that's unnecessarily connected to our smartphones. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hard just thinking about it. I would say the three problems I had with this project was that they make claims that are unsubstantiated, uh, they don't explain a lot of the science behind it, and they want to connect it to a smartphone. As I was browsing the Kickstarter page, I noticed a pre-order button, so I clicked that, and it brought me to their official website, where you cannot pre-order anything, you just place orders for Crystal Wash balls. So what I did is I placed an order for it. Knowing full well that I wouldn't get the one with the Bluetooth, I would just get the standard Crystal Wash balls. What you'll notice on the front is there's this little blue sticker that reads, Crystal Wash 2.0 app now available. I downloaded the app, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't connect to the balls because there's nothing in the balls other than a bit of ceramic beads. So what it ends up being is like a glorified timer. And what you do is you activate it when you throw the balls into the laundry and then it just counts. You guys might be thinking that the Crystal Wash 2.0 sticker and the fact that they have an app is signaling good intentions on the part of the Crystal Wash team. But I, I disagree. I think that this was just an attempt essentially, to make more money. Half of the project is done. They made an app. And, and it does track your laundry. That's good enough, right? As far as the balls go, I got two of them. And uh, what you'll notice on the front of these is that they have a little leaf and a W. That isn't a logo from Crystal Wash. They don't use a leaf. They use some weird aperture thing. This is from another bullshit ball company. So you got all these ball companies that just produce these things in mass. None of them pay attention to the labeling on it for a while. Maybe in, maybe these were made in fucking 1999, and I'm just now receiving them after they've been sitting in a warehouse for over a decade. And even if you want to ignore the logo that's on the front of it, they're white. They, they, all the Crystal Wash balls are advertised as blue, and they send me some white shit. So I got these balls and I'm gonna test them. I'm gonna do some very non-scientific tests. The first test is the pH test. Today we're gonna test the claim if these crystal balls will in fact raise the pH of the water, creating a hydrogen peroxide type effect. I brought some li lip limits tests. Limits. Um, well, I'll put these balls to the limits. We're gonna test them. Is it lit, litmus? We're gonna use this litmus test. We're not just gonna drop the balls in there and leave them. We're going to put them in there and spin it for around uh, 15 minutes, sort of simulating the activity of a washing machine. Also keep in mind, this is vastly less water than you'd use in a traditional washing machine. 
Well, it's gonna be better than Donald Trump water, I'll tell you that much. Bitch, small titted bitch. Bitch with medium to large sized tits. All right, it's been 15 minutes. All right, folks, if the crystal balls did their job, we should see a test strip that's darker than the control strip. There you have it. They're the exact same color. There's no distinguishing between either one of them, and that's because they're both tap water. One just happens to have some plastic balls rolling around in it. I know that test wasn't perfect. I should be using uh, distilled water, and I should be using a, a pH meter that I could stick in there and get some really fucking stupid accurate results. But, you know, for the sake of the average, uh, you know, person at home, I decided to use, you know, the cheap do-it-do-it-yourself-at-home method. The next test is the cleanliness test. Now, I would do this in a legit way if the test hadn't been done already, but there are plenty of websites that have already washed using the crystal wash balls and compared it to using no detergent, and the results are almost always exactly the same. Here I have some ripped up pieces of t-shirt, and I've put barbecue sauce, Sharpie, and tool grease on each one of them, and uh, we're going to wash one pile with the crystal wash balls. And this other pile, we're gonna wash with a, just a bunch of shit. After a few hours of waiting, our test is complete and we are ready to see the results. Would you look at that? They both did an excellent job of cleaning. While doing research on the crystal wash balls, I came across the studies that were performed at the Polytechnic Institute of Hong Kong, and I found that they did a toxicity test of the Biocera balls, which is just another name. Now, this toxicity test tested for toxicity by dumping laundry water washed with crystal wash balls and normal laundry detergent into the tanks of goldfish, and they waited 10 days to see how many fish had died. A big shocker, more died with the detergent, but uh, even more shocking than that, more died in the control than they did with the biocera balls. So, I'm calling bullshit on this one. Now, I was gonna replicate this test. I have no problem using animals as little test subjects, but I thought that would be wrong. I thought, no, nah. you know, for what reason? So I said, you know what animal comes in contact with laundry detergent and crystal wash balls the most? humans. So I conducted a uh, couple day long study of the effects of normal laundry detergent on the human body. While I was looking for testimonials online about whether the crystal wash balls were effective or not, I came across an overwhelming amount of mommy bloggers. Contacted by crystal wash. I was like, wow, there's a lot of moms out there who's really seem to be into these fucking balls. Of course, if you look to the description, you'll find that there's an affiliate link in all their videos, so they're getting a nice uh, cut of the crystal wash profits. A lot of them say the same shit. I honestly don't fully understand it. I don't know how this stuff works. I don't exactly know what that means. I don't really understand the science behind it. I'm not a scientist. I am not a scientist. I'm not a scientist. I don't claim to be a scientist. I'm just an average dude. All you're going to get is moms at the end of the day and me saying, I ain't a scientist. I don't know how it works. All I know is that I put them in there and my clothes seem to be smelling fresh. There could still be detergent left in the fabrics of your clothes when you wash and dry them, so maybe that's why they're smelling fresh? Or it could just be a straight up placebo effect and since you want it to work, it did work. They seem to smell pretty fresh. A lot of us don't have to worry about sanitizing our clothes, right? Because what we're doing in an average day is walking around, sweating a little bit, maybe you got some cum stains on your undies, but that's about it. That All that shit washes away really easy with a bit of water and a bit of friction. But where there might be a problem is if you're one of these mommy bloggers and you rant and rave about your use of cloth diapers. Mainly because we cloth diaper, especially if you cloth diaper. When it comes to sanitizing your feces ridden cloth diaper, I suggest you use extremely harsh chemicals and scalding hot water. Now if you don't want to do any of that and you want to be really friendly to the environment, you can do what I do with my cloth diapers and you can go on out to the river 
and scrub your diapers against a rock for a couple hours. You guys probably aren't going to believe me, but I truly do feel like I'm an authority on cloth diapers because I've been wearing them for the past five years. A lot of people think that, you know, it's only for babies or only for really old people who have irritable bowel syndrome. But the truth is, you can get irritable bowel syndrome really early in life. 